Welcome to the Spelman College Museum of Fine Art. My name is Andrea Barnwell Brownlee, and I'm the director of the museum. It's a privilege to welcome you to this mini tour of Undercover, Performing and Transforming Black Female Identities. This exhibition was made possible by the Fulton County Arts Council, and we're glad you're here. this exhibition with Karen Comer Lowe, the director of Comer Art Advisory. We were certain about a few things. We knew that we wanted this exhibition to include iconic works, such as this one by Gordon Parks. She's really part of a group of women that believed that how you present yourself is how you are seen. She wanted to be seen as not only as the leader of this group, but also of a larger collective that really believes in piety and dedication to a higher being. Certainly, Ethel Sharif in Chicago is one of Gordon Park's most significant and well-known works. Undercover explores a number of rich issues. Things that people don't often talk about in their everyday conversations. Things like blackface performance, cross-dressing, being in disguise, being incognito. We really wanted to bring these 75 works together to explore these rich issues which really deserve and warrant further conversation. So as you walk through the exhibition, you'll, no you'll notice a number of works by celebrated as well as emerging artists. I mentioned Gordon Parks earlier, but I also want to mention James Van This piece entitled Bow of the Ball is a piece that we couldn't resist talking about and including within this context of being undercover. We don't know all the circumstances of when this photograph was taken. We know it was taken in 1926, and we know that he was at a very large event. But this piece, called Bow of the Ball, not Bell of the Ball, always causes much conversation. It's been the subject of a lot of discussion since the exhibition opened, simply because he's so very glamorous. When you look at his dress, you look at his comportment, you look at his pose, his hairstyle, you really, really have to take a second look and talk about the context of 1926. While Undercover includes works by well-known photographers such as Gordon Parks and James Vanderzee, it also includes works by emerging artists such as Nandi from Matumbo. This piece entitled Europa is one of the most discussed pieces in the show. This work is so very important. People are really visually arrested when they see it. This piece was actually featured on the cover of the invitation to the opening reception, and there was so much conversation around this work. People wanted to know more about her. Where does she live? Who is this subject? Is this subject a bull? Is this subject with these horns the devil? They wanted to know so many things about this particular piece. As I mentioned, this piece is entitled Europa, and it's such a dynamic and just vivid and powerful take on Greek mythology. When we think about this powerful, powerful story of how this bull came and enticed this woman to follow him across the river, and then of course he took her and made her his concubine. But she disrupts all of these things. She says, not only am I going to be the bull, but I'm also going to personify virility and power. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and disrupt issues of gender as well. So here we have this wonderful young emerging artist who's so celebrated in South Africa and so very, very creative and important. And she disrupts this fable and turns it on this ear. Not only I'm standing in front of a very important piece by Ellen Gallagher entitled Deluxe. As you can see, this piece is so very dynamic. All 60 panels feature something really rich and exciting. The textures in each of the individual panels is dynamic and so very important. This piece really explores issues of, of beauty. It explores issues of skin complexion, gender, wigs, race, 
So many things are jam-packed in this one exciting portfolio piece. We were so delighted when the Jordan Snitzer Family Foundation agreed to allow us to borrow this piece for this show. Ellen Gallagher is somebody that is just simply talked about on a regular basis and is so very important to the art world. When you get close to this piece, when you see it in person, you can see the rich textures that are part of each and every piece. This exhibition includes a number of different types of work, from video and sculpture, to painting and photography, to works on paper. You know, it really, really does include a number of examples of works that examine this idea of going undercover. And certainly all of the ideas are not traditional ideas. We wanted to include works by this artist, for example, Etienne de Mopolsen. Her works are so very beautiful. They're delicate, they're mixed media, and they're baked clay, but they also have a very, very real presence. Sometimes they appear to be swords, sometimes they appear to be women's bodies, but in every instance, they're always very, very elegant. So Undercover is really based on the premise that people manipulate their outward appearance for a variety of reasons. This piece is also by Nandifa Matumbo. Here again, she raises questions about who is actually in disguise. In this diptych on the left, she's actually the bull fighter, but on the right, she's actually the bull about to charge. She Last but not least on this mini tour, I wanted to park on the piece by Lyle Ashton Harris entitled Billy Number One. This piece is another stellar example that is included in Undercover. When you see this piece, it really does make you take a second look. Of course, he's referencing Billie Holiday. And you also notice that this is actually the artist himself impersonating Billie Holiday. Certainly with her iconic flower and certainly with this iconic gesture as if she's actually in the middle of singing one of her moving lyrics, you see that he has many things to say and comment about. Here, she has handcuffs on. Here, she is seen both singing and being in pain. 